haven't had the chance to really talk to him or see him at Wednesday Night Fights. Um, really curious to see how he's dealing with those changes because I know a lot of Bayonettas have since moved on from the character, uh, having a harder time keeping up their aggression. But being Ultimate now, there's a lot more places you can find that. No, definitely. I mean, really the only Bayonettas that have stuck with the character uh, would be Tamim. And Tamim is actually in this wave of pools. It'll yes. be exciting to see if we can see that Bayonetta. I mean, all the other Bayonettas, you know, they still play the character. They try to figure out what they can do. But the whole fundamental issue is that she's not the same. She's a lot laggier. Yeah. But it, it somewhat doesn't matter because as Tamim has shown, it's just, there's just so many hitboxes, so much pressure that she can put on because of the universal changes that you know, it kind of doesn't matter that this character got gutted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the same, uh, it looks like Anti-Josh is the opponent going to be rocking Donkey Kong. And I think there's like a little bit of a controller issue with CPU. He seems to be trying to confirm something with Lakitu about the stream setup before continuing onward. Yeah, I wonder if it's just the controller itself or is trying to, trying to figure out the adapter possibly? I'm not entirely sure, but Lakitu, they're discussing how they can get this taken care of, but they have some beautiful headsets up there. Go ahead and make sure they can hear the game at that. Donkey Kong, of course, in this game still has a lot of great power, a lot of great reach on so many of his attacks. The main thing is his recovery is more exploitable than it's been in Smash in quite a while because his uh, his arms are a lot less disjointed on his upbeat, and he has less drift as well when he's mm -hmm. making his way back to the stage, making him a lot more edge guardable. And it looks like CPU is keeping the faith, sticking with Bayonetta. Uh, I'm always really happy to see this because, like, you you know that like they're like the the real Bayonetta diehards, right? Like they just love this character so much. Like when they said like I'm just a big Bayo fan and she happens to be top tier, they were telling the truth, you know? Definitely. I mean, and really to your point, you're talking about a little earlier on this spinning aerial Kong. Yeah. When when Donkey Kong's trying to go ahead and recover to the stage, um, not only does it not have horizontal drift, even itself when he's moving in the move. There's not a lot of horizontal movement as your hands are going off. Uh, it only lasts for about, I think, I think, a second and a half. Then he has to go ahead and try to use the drift to go back to that stage. And right now, it doesn't even matter at the moment. CPU just exploding, but anti-Josh, it would answer just right back, a couple of back airs, trying to get that up to match, unfortunately, find himself right back off stage. Yeah. He's back to the stage, and the question is, of course, how to find the kill of Bayonetta. A lot of her old strings that end in up air are no longer devastating, but you know if you read the get-up attack and line up that forward smash just right, it doesn't really matter about the up air. Ooh, actually opting for the back throw instead of the up throw. Try to make some things happen uh, up tilt, leading into a back air, and also into a double witch twist. Fantastic damage coming off from CPU. Now already putting himself on the verge of lapping Josh right now. Such a great delay from CPU as he was recovering to the stage. Ends up using yet another Witch Twist to get out of the range of that back air. Oh, making a read on an immediate attack. Actually not going to be punished, though, with a throw right off stage. Mashes out so hard he manages to break free, but Josh finds it again. Gets a back throw this time, not looking for anything too extensive with a cargo. Oh, that is a missed opportunity for Josh. I would have liked to see a cargo back throw instead since we were on top of that platform closer to the blast zone. Yeah, exactly. Would have sent straight up, and Pokemon Stadium does have one of the shorter ceilings. It would have given him a chance to get a kill, but no one's sticking to look for a forward throw. Yeah, I'm not sure if Josh is aware of, you know, a lot of his kill setups in terms of the throws, but hey. CPU is going to take every opportunity that is handed to him to take in that stock, and it's not working on a three stock. Mm -hmm. so, oh my gosh, yeah, catching Josh actually pressing buttons in disadvantage. Josh using that double jump, and again, another aerial. Now, speaking of aerials, G pick that back air, going to find its mark, and nerd. I mean, Josh getting himself on the board. It's a little bit, it's making me a little bit antsy seeing how uh, aggressive Josh is being, not just. Uh, not just in neutral, but also when he is being caught by these attacks because he doesn't have much currency left to play with in terms of stock life, so he can't afford to be forcing all of these trades. I'm completely okay with what he's doing right now. He got a quick 96 within about a 20 second you know, a little spurt into finding all the techs, a lot of the situations that CPU is going to go into, and just is capitalizing on top of it. Back air going to find one more time. Up air sends him up into the air. Not quite going to take it away, but Josh is just highly aggressive now, just tossing out all these hitboxes. He's like, you know, if you're not going to witch time me, you're going to eat this stock. I mean, there's the witch time, right? You were just talking about it, but because Josh took the, chose the right moment to let up on his aggression, puts himself in a position to punish it. But again, having a hard time really finding uh, the ideal kills that a Donkey Kong can definitely get off of grabs at this high of a percent. 
I'll try to look for one immediately. Uh, luckily, only fair one, two is going to connect. Not fair one, two, three. And there we have it. Cargo back throw taking that stock. I know That's that giant punch is actually on the verge of being fully charged. This is very doable for Josh. If you can bait out one more witch time and punish it with a giant punch, he can take it. But going to get hit by the bullet. Still alive, still hanging on. But the spike axe kick right afterwards closes it out for CPU's favor. Such a big comeback for Josh, though. I'm really impressed by the fact that he kept it all together and kept finding bigger and bigger openings as the game went on. And GPEG, that's really just the power of three stocks. And yeah. fundamentally and universally throughout all of Ultimate, that we keep seeing it. Instead of having to adapt on the second game, as we saw in our last iteration in Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U, now you have that last stock to go ahead and collect as much data as you can. And even if you do end up losing that game, you have that much more data and that much more understanding of how to play your opponent going yeah. into game two. And you have that momentum too, even though you lost the fact that you like say, well, I took two stocks at the very end of that game. If I just keep playing like that, I'm gonna be able to win this set. Oh, we got the... We got the yeah, the piece out. I like that CPU showing all that confidence. I'm trying to do it for NorCal out here. Yeah, this is the uh, one time where NorCal gets to show up in force to a major. It's a very exciting time for us. And the fact that we get to start off this new iteration of Smash, having everyone come to our doorstep, very exciting. So, this is a very surprising counter pick coming out from Josh. Town and City. So now Town, if you guys are not familiar, is actually one of the biggest stages as opposed to Smash 4 where it was the smallest. And wow, oh. that stock is going to be gone. <laughs> yeah. So right was, off the side, fantastic conversion out from CPU. That was interesting because Josh wasn't hit by the last fair in that fair string, right? He air dodged out and he drifted so far out, out of fear that he ended up dying to his own panic. Yeah, if he ended up just doing a neutral air dodge, he would have been completely fine. But that was not the case this time around. And CPU is just cooking right now, able to go ahead and get that witch time. And understands I can't just go for a smash attack as I want. Gonna have to mix it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. CPU already getting 120% now on Josh and working on closing out the second stock. It's a very similar start to what we saw in game one. Oh my goodness. Josh right back off stage from the afterburner, but that back throw is going to do it. I thought he was going to eat an immediate back air once they both got back to stage. Mm -hmm. Oh no, again, another air dodge actually costing Josh right now. This is a very bad, this is as in terms of a game two where you don't have much more to give, the fact that you lose both of your stocks to SDs can do a lot of demoralization for a competitor. Yeah, Josh was looking so hot in that last game at the very end, and right now it's just looking like that gas has fizzled out. Yeah. Again, another air dodge this time, not too low, so he's able to make it back onto the stage, but he's still trapped in that corner. He's having a hard time really getting back to a solid neutral position. Wow. Yeah, that's Deke, DK's head just poking through very slightly, ends up getting caught by the air. A dive kick, very unfortunate. Another backer going to find the mark. And Josh is just trying to hit something to catch this Bayonetta, but that is no easy feat. Mm -hmm. Oh, a beautiful cross up off that fair one. Trying to keep it going as well. Again, another 139% onto CPU. It's not, not CPU, Josh. It's not going to take much more to close out the stock. Uh, but of course, that up air not going to do the trick. He's going to need a solid smash attack. Or uh, honestly, a four throw near the edge is definitely going to do it too. A down air is Back now, air, of course. Yeah. Yeah, back air, of course. Dive kick. Not even going for the up air. Understands it's not going to kill. Fair is going to go ahead and take that one away. CPU taking the stock 2 0 here. Yeah. GG Gaming. Genesis 6. Just very, very confident stuff by him. It was kind of unfortunate to see uh, how much, you know, Josh's momentum as Donkey Kong just really fizzled out at the end. Um, he barely even had a solid shot at, like, a solid neutral.